All right, so now that we have driven in a square, um, but you can see there's a lot of code here, so we're going to try and simplify that with the use of functions. So if you take a gander at your your code, you'll notice that you have at least four forwards, right? One, two, three, four, and three rights, right? Well, that's a lot of information that the Arduino needs to process, which uh, is a lot of memory it needs to store. So we need to reduce that information. So we're going to apply a function. And so to create a function, you simply uh, type in void, and then you name the function, whatever you want to call it. Uh, in this case, we'll call it forward, because we want to move forward. And so to execute us moving forward, we simply just take this guy here, or these five lines of code, and we'll paste them in here. And so now every time we call this function forward, it will move forward with us. All right, it'll move forward. So we don't have to write this entire line of code here. So I'm going to get rid of this. And instead of just saying forward, or instead of writing all that line of code, I'm just going to simply say forward with the uh, open and close parentheses. So right here, I'm calling my function. So I'm calling the function forward, or calling the forward function. Um, so anytime I see, anytime I'm trying to go forward, I'll just go ahead and replace it with the function itself. So that would reduce a lot of the memory that's eaten up by the Arduino. So I'm going to go ahead and forward. And last but not least, so all those lines of code we just kind of got rid of. We didn't need them. They were excess. So anytime you find yourself uh, with repetitive lines of code, you have to kind of consider what other options would there be to simplify it. And one option is functions. And so, you know, simultaneously, you can also create a, another function. We'll call it write. And make sure you have your open and close curly brackets. So anytime you want to move right, we just execute these four lines of code. And anytime you see those four lines of code up here, you can simply just type in the function. I'm just going to get rid of my comments. So, like I mentioned before, you should have a four forwards and three rights. So now it's truly uh, simplified, or simplified a lot more so than it was beforehand. You have forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward. So, and then I didn't make a function for stop. You could make a function for stop. Uh, I changed it to five seconds so I would know. Actually, let's go ahead and upload and run it. So it moves forward, right. Hmm. Oh, true. I'm not sure where that came from. Forward, right, forward, right, forward, right, forward, right. Stops for five seconds. And then since it's in the loop, it's just going to keep going and going after five seconds. So there you go. There's your use of function.